Have you ever won a prize from a claw machine before? No? Well, I haven't either. But that's okay because today I am going to be making a claw machine in Minecraft using the Create mod. So maybe, just maybe, I'll actually be able to win a prize today. Eh, probably not though. So to start out with this build, I went and made the shell for the entire claw machine that's going to contain both the awesome prizes that we'll be able to get with it and also all the different mechanical components in redstone that's going to actually allow it to function like a real life claw machine. And I know, I know, this is looking a lot less colorful and a lot more brown than a typical claw machine that's in an arcade, but let's just pretend that some lumberjack with a bunch of extra wood lying around or something is the one that made this, and not someone that's actually creative and enjoys colors. Now that we have the shell of the claw machine ready to go, we can start working on the mechanical components of it that are going to go in the top right here, and the first and most important thing to work on is going to be the horizontal movement of the claw as it traverses is the area containing all the prizes. To do this, we're just going to build up two right here and then place down a long line of gantry shafts that's going to span this entire side. Next, we're gonna come up three blocks and place down another long gantry shaft running perpendicular to the one that we just placed down. Now, the way that gantry shafts work is by supplying rotational power to these on either end and depending on the direction of rotational power that's given to them, a gantry carriage that's attached will either travel forward or backward on them and anything that's attached to that carriage will also come along with it. So we're going to want to put down a gantry carriage on the bottom side of this top one and then on the top side of this bottom one. And as you saw, the faces of these are sticky, so these will hold on to each other. The good news is the gantry shafts also hold on to each other. They don't need any glue or anything. They're just going to stay attached. The problem is when you move one of these gantry carriages, it's going to come detached from the gantry shafts. So to make sure that these stay attached and bring it along with it, we need to take some super glue and place it along all the bottom faces of this top one and along all the top faces of this bottom one. So the next step is going to be supplying rotational power to this that will then move with it as it traverses this square. So we're gonna do one side real quick right here and we are going to super glue a clutch onto one side of the gantry shaft. Then we're going to super glue a creative motor onto that clutch. And then finally, we are going to super glue a redstone link onto that clutch. Now the way this setup works is very simple. The clutch is going to stop transmitting rotational power to the gantry shaft whenever the redstone link is powered on. So we are going to invert a redstone signal so that when we push a button, there's no more redstone signal and it allows the clutch to power the gantry shaft. And that is going to allow the upper portion of the system to move either forward or backward along it. That way, as long as we're holding down whatever button we have or whatever key we want, this will have smooth movement up and down the gantry shaft to any point in this square. Now, all the rotational power has been properly hooked up to these, but they shouldn't be spinning because we're not actually holding a button down right now because we haven't inverted a signal yet to go to each one of these clutches. So we're gonna quickly do that right up here on this platform and it's just kind of floating in the air for now, but this will be where all the redstone's gonna go and yes, there's gonna be a lot of redstone. So quickly, we're gonna start this out simply by putting down a bunch of torches right here that are gonna go into four different redstone links and then we are going to have a bunch of redstone links right back here that'll correspond to the different frequencies for these four redstone links on these gantry shafts. So I switched the setup around a little bit because clearly my knowledge of remedial redstone is lacking a little bit, but either way, these redstone links right here are set to the four different frequencies for the four different clutches that are now disabling rotational power to the gantry shafts. Then over here on this side, these redstone links are going to be receiving redstone signals from this link controller right here, which you can see is set to be sending the same exact frequencies here. They will disable these torches and then move this setup right here, this centralized point, to any portion of this square using these gantry shafts. So moment of truth, let's give it a test run. So if we use this, I don't know which direction is which when I press down certain controls, but let's see. Does it move? Yes, I'm holding it down. Nice, this is all moving along with it. I let go, it stops. Let's try another, so that moves it back. And then how about this? Uh, That way, oh, there we go. Very nice, very nice. It's moving along that one. What about if we go 
Oh my gosh, it's working. That is so awesome. So I think it's pretty much safe to say that our horizontal movement for this entire setup is taken care of. The trials looked pretty good. And now we need to deal with the vertical movement because while we can have this move to any portion of this square, we need it to be able to actually go down, pick up the prize that we're trying to get, bring it back over here, and then drop it off in an area where we can actually get it. So to deal with this, we are going to be using a rope pulley, which we're going to put down right here below the gantry carriages. And then we're going to use some linear chassis to connect it to the gantry carriage at the bottom. So we're just going to make this sticky, put down two linear chassis, make the bottom of that sticky, make the side of the rope pulley sticky, put down a gear shift. And then we're just going to want to turn the rope pulley so that it's connecting its rotational input with the sequence gear shift output. So off of this sequence gear shift right here, we are just going to super glue on a creative motor. And then no surprise to anyone, we are going to super glue on another redstone link here. And then we're just going to come around the other side and do the same exact thing. So super glue on a sequence gear shift, super glue on a creative motor, and finally super glue on a redstone link. As for the settings for the sequence gear shift, we're going to adjust those so that they are moving it 20 meters. And this value is going to basically be the maximum value that the sticker could ever need to go down to either grab a block or drop off a block in the entire system. And I believe going down to drop off our block at the very end is going to be about 18. So we're going to be safe and just set this to 20. And then we're going to do the same thing over here, set this to 20. And then one of these, we can either reverse the input speed here, or we could just reverse it on one of the creative motors. Totally up to us, whichever we want to do. Now that we have the rotational power portion of this, we need the actual claw portion, which is really easy to do. We're simply going to put down a linear chassis on the bottom of the rope pulley here and then super glue on a sticker. And finally, we're going to super glue onto the side of the linear chassis another redstone link. Now things are really starting to come together. We've got the horizontal movement, we've got the vertical movement, but unfortunately we have one difficult thing left to do and then one fun thing left to do. So the fun thing is gonna be putting all the different blocks down here that are gonna be the prizes that we're trying to get. Unfortunately, before we do that, we gotta do some more work right up here. And I have expanded this platform because there's a whole bunch of redstone that's gonna go into the rest of this setup because there is some serious timing that's going to need to be done because these gantry shafts right here should only be able to move for about 10 seconds before the system automatically lowers and then brings back up the claw and then brings automatically the prize back over to this corner. So all of that has to happen using a bunch of redstone that's gonna go right up here and then it needs to be able to reset so that we can do it again and again and again when I inevitably fail at getting a prize the first time and end up with a stupid dirt or coal block and I'm extremely disappointed in myself. So the redstone is finally done. Now it's been a while since my last clip. It took a long time to work all of this out, but this is the entirety of the brains behind the operation and it makes the machine below it function exactly like a claw machine. Now, I'm not mumbo jumbo, no matter how much I want or try to be, so I don't have a fancy name for this redstone circuit. It's just a little bit of a mess, but it works well and that's what matters. Now, I'm not gonna get into specifics behind how this thing actually works, but the main idea is these are our player inputs right here to move the claw, then we have a timer, then this is going to automatically lower the setup, stick onto what we want, bring it back up, then it's going to bring it back over to the original corner right here, lower it down again, unstick off the block, bring it back up, and finally loop back to reset the whole thing so that we can do it again. Now, it's a wicked oversimplification, but this is really boring redstone stuff that you guys probably don't care that much about, so it does work. I am going to put a schematic somewhere or a world download somewhere in the description or comments if you want to mess around with it, but I also think it's a fun experiment yourself to try and get the redstone to work because this was definitely not easy. Well, it looks like everything should be good to go. I have loaded all of the wonderful prizes in there. We got a nice assortment of all the different kinds of blocks, some iron, some gold. I definitely didn't overload it with diamonds to give me a better chance of getting something good. That's definitely not what's going on here. But, you know, obviously, if I happen to get some diamonds, then I'm just a pro. But everything else should be working. The top is covered up, which means it is time to take this on its maiden voyage, the final trial of this whole thing to see if I did in fact set up a working claw machine 
in Minecraft. So we're gonna come over here, we can slap down our linked controller onto one of these lecterns. Then if we right click it, we now have the WASD controls to move this. So we should be good to start trying to get it. I'm gonna go for that diamond block right there. That one's sticking up right there. So admittedly, we don't have the best vantage point. Maybe I needed to move us up, you know, one or two more blocks, but it just adds to the difficulty because if we know anything, it is that claw machines in real life are extremely frustrating. So it only makes sense that this one is too. Now, I think maybe one further back, maybe, no, maybe one over and one, one there. I think that's it, right? Did I get it? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not the right one. Oh my God, that's like the worst one that we could have gotten. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, it picked it up for us. So uh, <laughs> it's not the right kind of blue. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you can see it's coming back now. It's it's bringing it over. Does it get it back over there? Come on. Now you can see the time delay stuff I was talking about here um, because we didn't go all the way to that corner over there. But uh, let's see, can drop it down now and then we can go claim our prize in a second here there we go it's bringing it down the shameful prize and then it'll come back up after it lets go of it and it will reset so we can go again okay well time to go get our prize but that is it guys that is the working claw machine in minecraft using the create mod and the ha totally got you guys be sure to subscribe if you like the video and also drop a like for the immense amount of work that went into this and I'll talk to you guys later.